<laughs> I love you, Marvin. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Marvin and today, today, today we back with another tutorial. I just want to say before I even start with the video, I do want to say thank you guys for 200 subscribers. It's crazy. Um, I've been posting a lot of videos so you guys have been showing my love too. Really appreciate that. We're in the road of 1k. Hopefully we can get it soon. Um, you know, today I'm going to be showing you guys some simple. I'm going to be showing you guys some simple effects that you guys can do to kind of like make your video look better. Uh, it's gonna be really creative it's gonna be really unique so it just make sure you watch the video all the way through make sure you do take your time while doing the video because the more time you take the better the outcome is gonna be so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do something crazy something that i really like to do on all my videos and i just want to teach you guys how to do it so first thing you're gonna do is kind of find a clip like always you guys know by now that you should always try to find a, a good clip I'm gonna be using this part of the video because he's just walking all the way down and um, it really don't matter as long as you get the person that you're trying to do the effect on but um, I just thought it would be really cool to be on little Tekka right here because he's just walking once you have found your clip say you want to do is right click we're gonna put it we're gonna replace it with after effects composition and then you guys know once you have your clip in after effects the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it we're gonna double click and then we're gonna rotor brush our person so you guys should know by now that you always gotta take your time while doing this because the first frame is the most important one you need to take your time while doing the first frame because the better the more time you take on it the better the outcome is gonna be so i'm gonna get back to you guys once i have rotor brush my person all right so i just messed up my person i honestly didn't like the way it came out I'm gonna show you guys why, why I'm saying that because you see how right there you can see that it, it didn't really come out as I wanted to so if you don't like the way it came out like you see right there this part is showing uh, what you can do is go back to your uh, composition and then we're gonna go frame by frame and we're gonna have to fix it so we're just gonna keep going and keep going until we find uh, so right here we're gonna hit option if you're using a macbook so we're just gonna try to fix it like i said take your time because the more time you take on it the better the outcome is gonna be so you're gonna keep doing this keep doing that i'm gonna go down down gonna keep fixing it we're also gonna fix this one right here we're gonna try to delete that right there I'm just gonna leave it like that um it doesn't really look that bad but if i were to do like something else i'll probably take more time but since we're doing this tutorial i don't want to take too long so we're just gonna leave it like this uh, i'm gonna hit freeze so we can lock in our rudder brush so once it's done the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our composition to our main composition we're gonna put back this one and once we have our rotor brush like i said take your time i really don't like how mine came out but since we're doing a tutorial i'm just gonna do it like that i'm um, not gonna take too long with it so we're just gonna duplicate it uh, and then we're gonna move the position we're gonna keyframe the position that and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a colorama to our our second clip we're gonna drag it and we're gonna drop it here and we're gonna move we're gonna go all the way to probably I'm gonna go A frame and we're gonna move it like that. So next thing we're gonna go to turn not add turbulent displacement. We're gonna add it here. And go back again. We're gonna keyframe the size, the amount, and also the complexity. And we can also keyframe the evolution, but we're not gonna do that because I'm not gonna do something like that for right now. So we're gonna go again A frame here and we're gonna change the size a little bit like that just try to make it look like this border or something like that just try to make sure it looks crazy so we're just gonna move it and we're gonna go like this fix it a little bit 
something like this. I think that looks pretty cool to me. We're also gonna try to fix this one. To just kind of like move it. Something like that. We're gonna bring the size up again. We're gonna bring the amount a little bit so that, like that. So now we have this crazy liquid effect on the bone right here. I got outside you can see right there. I got outside I think we're gonna we're, I think we're gonna move it all the way to down. Pull it down here, all the way to the end of the clip. So we can have more time. So we're just gonna move all the way down. Like that. And then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna also keep in the evolution. It's like moving all the time, so we just gonna go over here. And then we should have to move all our uh, keyframes down to the end, like that. Something like that. So. I got outside, I don't know. Outside, outside, I don't know. It should be moving at all time. We're gonna go probably to the uh, middle of the clip and we're just gonna play around again somewhere like around here. And we're just gonna like, play around with the complexity. We're gonna try to make something like that. Bring the size up again. Something like this. Around, something like that. So, so this first effect is just playing around so you have like a liquid moving in the background. Like that. So that thing looks pretty cool. And we're just gonna add. We're gonna go back and see how it looks. So you guys can see it looks like that. It's a pretty simple effect. Next thing we're gonna do is to make it even more better. We're gonna duplicate, duplicate our layer again, and we're gonna delete the turbulent. We're gonna hold up. I messed up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate our first layer again. We're gonna duplicate our first clip. We're gonna go here, and we are going to add colorama again. Just to kind of give it that trippy effect. Gonna drag it up to this one again. But this time we're gonna increase the scale a little bit. We're gonna keep on the scale over here. We're gonna make it a little bit here like that. We're gonna keep on the position here. Move it a little bit right there, about right there. We are going to change the input face with a different color. Something like that looks tough. And then we have this going on like that. So we're gonna go back. Just gonna try to make it look crazy because some people sometimes tend to not make it look good. Our purpose with this is to make look this scene look crazy out of this world. So something crazy that people you know would like to watch. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this map displacement, displacement map, and we're gonna add it to our last clip. Oh, and we're gonna duplicate it again. We're gonna delete it from the last one, and then we're just gonna keyframe it go here. And keyframe this to go all the way. We're gonna go something like that. Something like this, kind of like make it look, make it look crazy. So, so when it's moving like this, you can just kind of already start seeing some distortion going on. We could add um, colorama to it to make it look good as well. We can get that trippy effect. We are gonna add glow, just not right now because we still gotta like work it out. So we're just gonna change the colors to input face too. That uh, we can keyframe the so we're just gonna blend it with the original like that. We're gonna keyframe it once it's like right here. We're gonna bring it a little bit more. So once it's probably like right there, we're gonna put it over here. So you get that crazy looking effect like that. We're just gonna keep going all the way. We are gonna make it a little more distorted because I don't like the way it looks. So we're just gonna go to the clip again. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna go all the way up. Keep playing until you find something that you like. So 
we keep going put it right there and go back again and I got eyes I don't know eyes going like that we are gonna keep frame this one again we're gonna keep frame this one again but this time what I'm about to do is just kind of like uh, we're gonna put it on the sides like that, so it's like an uh, infinite clone type of effect. So we're gonna keep in the position like that, and we're gonna go here, and we're gonna move it like that, and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna move it like that, keep moving it like this, move it like that. we have that the so next thing we're gonna do to make it look even better is we are gonna like um you know, pre-compose these layers hold this one from here to here keyframe we're gonna pre-compose them okay and then we're gonna hit uh we're gonna fish up the scale cc still white and then we're gonna add it here now the reason why I'm, we're gonna do this is because we're gonna do something we're gonna add like a little distortion thing so we're gonna keyframe that in the beginning go all the way from here to the middle and we're gonna hit stretch we're gonna change the position to this side like that something like that we're gonna move it we're gonna make sure it's kind of like over here so you can still see the person we're gonna move it right there we're gonna stretch it like that and then we're gonna keep moving to this side we're gonna move the position to that side we're gonna move it a little bit more and we're gonna move it a little bit more up so it's like that and we're gonna go a little bit forward and we're gonna put it up like that we're gonna move our center a little bit more up so it's like that is. Just playing around, you know, just try to make it look good. And then we're gonna move it again to probably right here. Like that, and we're gonna move it like this a little bit. So like that. But it should look something. So, uh, you guys can see we already did all of it the only thing is the only thing we're gonna fix is we're gonna go back to our pre-composed layer we're gonna look at our keyframes because we're gonna put them all back so it's from right here to right here it moves as you guys can see we're gonna enable motion blur all the way down and then we're gonna go back for like over here and then we're gonna reset our position because we want it to be we want to have like a bounce type of effect so it goes back in and out so we're just gonna move it all the way back to where it was so position as you guys can see we have currently done our a little animation right here it goes back it goes out then it goes back in and then we are back to this so we're gonna go back to our main composition and then as you guys can see we have this crazy looking effect going right here so next thing we're gonna do is uh which i really like to do sometimes i do it sometimes i don't but we're gonna go over here to our to this to the first clip and go here we're gonna grab our paintbrush and we are going to change the color to something like Jello, probably like that. And then we're gonna draw a little bit over his eyes, like that. Keep drawing. We're gonna go another thing in.
doing it for a couple of my friends. Next thing we're gonna do after we have draw the little eyes on the person we're gonna do is we're gonna add a glow effect and we're gonna drop it all the way to the bottom clip where we have the little background and we're gonna drop it again on our pre-compose layer the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go somewhere we can see our effects so right there we are going to glow intensity we're gonna bring it up a little bit glow radius we're gonna bring it up a little bit so we have this crazy glowing effect same thing for the background we're gonna fix it we can go here and we're gonna bring up the glow intensity and then glow radius as well so we have this crazy glow effect we're just gonna keep going like that so you have this going crazy so as you guys can see she looks something like this it looks pretty crazy looks pretty cool to me uh, this is something that you guys can add, add to your video because I've seen that a lot of like trippy effects are pretty popular nowadays. So this is something pretty simple but really worth it to do. Once we have done this, we are gonna hit file save and we're gonna go back to Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna render the clip so you guys don't have to like that little clip right here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a transition. So that it just doesn't jump to the next clip like that out of nowhere so we are going to do a little uh pretty cool transition that i use sometimes for my videos and we're gonna do the same thing that we did on our from our last video if you watched the last video you should, you should be able to do this and if you haven't watched like, my last video make sure you do watch it but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to our last one and we're just gonna cut it around the person like that watch the video from yesterday you should have this overlay so if you haven't watched it make sure you go watch it so you can get the overlay it's free you don't have to pay i gave it to you guys in my in the description of the video so make sure you go get that once you have if you want to do a small transition which i think is a pretty cool transition to do when you have no idea what to do so i will be doing more videos about transitions because i feel like that adds a lot another level to your videos as well so gonna go around the person gonna go all the way and boom we're gonna bring the opacity back up to 100 so the way I do this is we're gonna go 10 frames to the right right there so we're gonna go shift we can probably I'm probably just gonna do five so we're just gonna do like that something like this so we're gonna hit shift and then right arrow we're just gonna hit C and then we're gonna cut it right there so we have something like that and then just transition to the other clip so it's something pretty easy like I said I hope you guys have liked this video if you guys have found this video very helpful